Hello guys and uh, welcome back to uh, my channel and uh, I thought we would uh, mix things up a little bit and uh, look at this this uh, map created by Mr. Squishy I'll uh, leave a link to his channel as well as a download link in the description um, but Mr. Squishy has completely recreated Pokemon Red in Minecraft and I thought I would uh, showcase it and uh, we check it out a little bit. As a kid I my first Pokemon game was uh, Pokemon Gould. I played that game. At, at the time <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't figure out how to cut down trees because I didn't understand the hidden machines and the moves and stuff like that so I couldn't get past uh, the second city or the third city and uh, it took me a while to figure it out someone had to show me when I was in uh, second grade I think but the first uh, of the original uh, games that I played was actually uh, Pokemon Blue because a friend gave it to me and I played it on a Game Boy Advance. I did have uh, some of the older uh, Game Boy Colors and stuff and I've, I've pretty much played almost every Pokemon game that they've made. Uh, but yeah, I thought we would uh, check out the the recreation of the game that he created here in Minecraft. Let's see. Uh, video settings. I have my uh, I have the render distance at twenty. I have view, the bobbing off and the clouds off, and uh, saving in the start merit menu before logging it off, and don't uh, don't quit before text battles or menus or during. If the yep, let's see. WSD is that A is F and shift. Start and select is space and Q. And then a really cool thing is you can uh, customize how the Game Boy looks. Uh, as a kid, I had a uh, my first uh, Game Boy that was like this. Was let's see. That's the case color, so this is the frame color and uh, light blue. Yeah, mine was sort of like that. It was a let's see uh, case frame color dark blue. Yeah, it was more like this. It was uh, a special uh, Pikachu Game Boy that I had. But uh, let's actually get into the game here. Start. Uh, <laughs> this this brings back memories to when I used to play the original games. <sighs> There's no sound because I think uh, that would be considered copyright, and Nintendo doesn't. Uh, it's not really a fan of people <laughs> playing their games. Start a new game. Hello there, and welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the professor, Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Alright, let's see. We're going to give... Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give myself... We're going to call ourselves... Did they? Oh, you know what? <laughs> they didn't have... Uh... They didn't have numbers. I remember that. I was going to call myself J50. Um, 
Well, I guess we'll call ourselves JN. There we go. Your name is JN. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were babies. And what would his what was his name again? Uh, we're gonna go classic and uh call him Gary. <laughs> That's right. I remember now. His name is Gary. Jan. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Ah, uh, the old, uh, let's see, Jan is playing the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, it's time to go. I remember this room. A lot of the second, uh, the second, uh, the gold, gold version had a similar room, and I remember playing in this room when I played blue. The PC and the withdrawal, deposit, toss items, log off. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what mom's up to. I don't rem. Let's see. Right, all boys leave home someday. I said so on the TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. See. In the gold version of the game, uh, it's different than this version because in the older version, she stopped you before you, as soon as you came downstairs. <laughs> see, Ooh. all right. Hi, Jayen. Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. <sighs> Don't worry, guys. I know how this goes. I go into the grass, get stopped. Hey, wait. Don't go out there. <laughs> uh, it's unsafe. A lot of Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Let's follow the professor. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, JN. There are three Pokemon here. Ha 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 ha. They are inside the Pokemon balls. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only left three have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to choose the Pokemon that I chose when I first played uh, one of the original games, which is Charizard. Obviously, yeah. So you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander? Yes, I do. This Pokemon is really energetic. Jan received a Charmander. Do you want to give a nickname to Charmander? No. No, I don't. I don't want to give a nickname to Charmander. And then, of course, Gary's going to take... I'll take this one, then. The Squirtle. I always took our weakness, which in the newer games, um, most of the time your rival takes the Pokemon that's not weak to yours, but yours is stronger than. I don't know why they stopped uh, doing doing it the other way around, but if you um, if you have two rivals, which in some of the ones before this newer before Sun and Moon they would actually have two rivals and one person would pick your weaker top and the other person would pick the top that's stronger than yours. Alright. Wait, Jan. 
let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Now, I don't know what kind of moves Charmander has, but I think his Squirtle has his Bubble, maybe? Now, we're going to try our best to uh, win, but I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to beat him. Now, when I play uh, Pokemon, I usually just use the offensive moves or uh, status moves like Confuse and uh, Poison and most of those but something I've learned about this first battle when you're fighting against your rival and they have a Pokemon that uh, that's a different type that's uh, has a type of advantage against you if you just keep to the offensive it usually works out you'll win because he'll do things like he just done and uh, he'll use like Tail Whip and you'll eventually win because you have more uh, HP than his Pokemon does. Like right now. Yeah. See? You can always win if you stay to the offensive when it comes to fighting the person uh, first time. Yay! Level 6. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's because you used Tail Whip. <laughs> I picked the wrong Pokemon. No, if you had kept to the offensive, you probably would have won, but I guess not. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. JN, Gramp, smell you later. He is so rude. Gary was always so rude. Eventually, he becomes less rude. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Professor Oak. Uh, raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't remember a lot. I know most of the things, but I can't remember what else you're supposed to do afterwards. Because I know you have to pick up a parcel for Professor Oak. And, and do I go to her or... Someone else uh, is out. Okay. Um, let's go check what the mom says. Oh. Hello, mom. Should take a quick rest. Yeah. Heal up the Pokemon. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. I will. Let's, uh... I can't remember how we, uh, how I get someone to tell me about the parcel. Ah, oh, that old animation brings back memories. <sighs> I used to love, uh, before I figured it out, I would have to fight all the Pokemon all the way to every city until I figured out what a repel does. And once I figured out what repels is done, I would use them so much. I would I would buy a whole bunch of max repels and because uh, this is when I was smaller. This was one of the m most uh, most annoying things running through. Sorry about that, guys. I keep hitting the E button. Would be running through uh, when running through the grass. Actually, let's let's go talk to this kid and see what he has to say. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go, potion. Yeah, most there's in most games there's at least someone who will give you a potion early in the game. Period. Fight. Scratch. I mean, um, as I've grown older, I've learned to, uh, to level up Pokemon before, because when I was younger, I would barely do any, uh, leveling up before I actually went to a gym or something, so my Pokemon were usually lower level than the gym leaders, 
But nowadays when I play a Pokemon game, I'll spend... I don't know how long leveling up the Pokemon to be higher than the people that I'm fighting. Or I would be ahead level wise to most trainers. See those ledges? Yeah. You can jump from them. Get back to Pallet Town that way quicker. Um, I'm going to go to Viridian City and uh, see if if I talk to the guy in the Pokemart, if he'll give me the, uh, the actual uh, pack parcel that I have to take back to Professor Oak. Let's see. Let's see uh, healing gun action. Though, I'll admit, one of the one of the reasons, one of the two sounds that I'm going to miss from this would be um, the bicycle uh, music and uh, that healing sound. I always love those sounds. But uh, I understand why you couldn't put the music in there. It's probably uh, copywritten. Hi. Uh, hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Yes, I will. Alright, now we go back to Pallet Town and uh, give the professor his uh, his package. I can't remember what he... Yeah, it's starting to come back actually. Yeah, this is how we get the Pokédex. I want to see how well the Pokédex works. I mean, what Mr. Squishy has done here is really amazing it's like so amazing that he was able to recreate one of the very first Pokemon games in Minecraft with I don't know how many command blocks um, I'm not sure how many command blocks he did but I've heard let's just say there's a couple thousand of them or there's many thousands of them. Maybe. I don't know the exact number, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> I know it's something with a... Th I heard from a video I watched, uh, maybe 3,000 or more? I'm not exactly sure on that number, but... Uh, eh. I'm pretty sure the number is listed on the down the place where you download it from. So yeah, it took a lot. It probably took them. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how long it would it would take a person to do this. Probably took them quite a while. I know um, he he did a. Uh, one while back, he let he get there was the world download for like a bait, like a to test it out where you could just walk around and stuff. I think not, I think all you could do was walk around, but that in itself is impressive. Let's uh heal up here, heal the Pokemon up. I'd rather not waste the potion on something else and let's go down here and uh, give the parcel to Professor Oak if you see me like trying to walk into buildings like just now it's because the the controls uh, uh, they go a little bit farther than when you hold down like, if I hold down the W key, it uh, takes me a little bit farther than uh, I think it's going to take me. So I keep hitting into walls and stuff. You must be as talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? I delivered the parcel to Professor Oak. Ah, oh, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Gramps. What did you call me for? 
Alright, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, my invention, Pokédex. It's automatic, it automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. JN and Gary, take these with you. Yay. You know, oh, I'll, uh, before I, before I knew this, um, the Pokédex were up on the table. It took me a while to figure that out when I was playing the game at a later time when I was older. I figured out that the Pokédex were up on that table up there. To make complete, to make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dreams for me. Dream. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. JN, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. JN, ha 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 ha. Yeah, well, you know what? I think I remember that she will give me one. So, uh, I'm going to go ask her. You're so rude. <laughs> hey, give me a map. <laughs> Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Town map. You know, to find out where you are. You know, I think, no, no, we went and talked to her. So, yeah, the, the only reason she gave me the map is because he said I couldn't have it. <laughs> and because I'm filling out the Pokedex for uh, Professor Oak. But, scratch. You scratch. Let's see. I'm going to uh, finish this battle with its Raditata, and then I'm going to check out the Pokedex because I want to see... I want to see what the Pokédex is like. Let's see, uh, all right, Pokédex. Well, data. Obviously, prefers hot places when it rains. Steams is said to spout from the tip of its tail. And this is this is great. Let's see, shift. That's the B the B button. See how the bag works. Oh man, I remember. I remember when the bag menu was like this, and um, I don't think you can carry too many items. I might be wrong about that. It's been a while since I've actually played the original games. I'm glad they changed it to a category system. Here's our Charmander stats: attack 14. He's better and speed and special because he uses, he's a flame top pretty sure I'm not that well versed in how the the stats and stuff uh, work but I know enough about them I'm going to uh, save the game <laughs> 19 minutes now saving JN save the game all right let's uh let's hop out of here because uh, I saved the game. So, okay. Alright, let's go into uh, spectator mode. Because I want to uh, show off all the stuff below. Now, my computer may lag a bit. But I've looked at it. Look at all the command blocks that he used to create this. This is just amazing. I don't think that I could ever make anything like this. And uh, an another video that I watched. Uh, Notice that these signs were here. There's a command column, like a column of command blocks for every single thing that you do inside the game. Tile decoders for BG display. I don't even know what half the stuff means. Uh, learn sets. 
this is just for HMs. This one right here, the hidden machines and the technical machines. Oh yeah, that's something <laughs> in uh, the older versions. Uh, the tech, the technical machines would disappear after you use them. In the newer ones, they do not. It took me a while to learn that because I was uh, so used to uh, them disappearing that I wouldn't use them in the newer games till I found out that you could reuse them. Look at all these command blocks. I don't even know how long this took him. It must have took him a while. It's very, very impressive. Uh, I'm going to uh, get myself up here and go back to creative mode. Alright, let's see. Game mode one. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to uh, end it here here and uh, download link is I'm going to put uh, a link to his channel and a download link for the the map in the description and uh, if you want to see me play Pokemon Red all the way through I like to know. I would like to have some feedback if you want to see me uh, play it. I just thought I would showcase this this map and what he's done with the command blocks. So, uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.